What's going on guys? Hope you guys are all doing well. Today is very exciting because we have a very special guest that you guys have not seen in a very, very long time and he actually hasn't even seen the new Evo that I got since I had since I sold my Evo 9 and bought an Evo 10. He hasn't even seen it yet, which is pretty rad. Um, but we're going to head out right now because as per usual, I'm running super late. We got to go link up at our special guest house and then we're going to roll out to the new shop. Yes, you heard me right. The new shop where you guys will hopefully see a lot of the installs and where we're going to be putting together my car. Uh, once the rest of the pieces show up and I get everything else that I need for it, but um, we'll talk more about that later. Your boy needs a mob to the gas station because I got no gas. This thing chugs gas like crazy. Little gas moment, finally get on the road. Oh fuck, there he is. He's a blob. <laughs> What's up? Good, How you been? Alright, big dog, to make the internet mad, which Evo do you prefer? 10. Why? Fucking way nicer. <laughs> what about the 4G, dog? The 4G 63, homie? It's overrated, man. The 8s and the 9s are overrated. Damn, bro, you're about to get a lot of hate. It's fine. They can hate all they Damn, want. Damn, so they're going to dislike your photo on Instagram. That's cool, bro. The homie's going to hey. come through with the hater hey. hashtag. All I got to say is, is this motor has been proven and this car has been proven. And even Mitsubishi said this shit's been proven because they made this shit. <laughs> <laughs> guys, we just got to the new shop. We're here with the man, the myth, the legend, the blue waffle. Hey. Hey! Hey, Blue Waffle! <laughs> you gotta drive that thing. What? I'm not driving that. That's the homie. The homie has just contracted. See, that's the entrance of the shop. Um, here we're just gonna put... I don't know what John's gonna do. Um, where's the bathroom? Here's the bathroom. Or oh, new wood. any customers or anything. This is going to be the waiting room. Um, this is actually a window for people who want to watch the dyno, the carving dyno. Um, box light is going to go on out there. We go in here. This is going to be like a storage room for any parts that we need, like clutches or whatever else we, we need to have in stock. This over here is going to be John's office. This room right here. And then this room over here is going to be the stand office. Six. Sam gets an office, bro. Yeah, so anything, any customers, anything that's right now. Like Sam, customers. our boy Sam? Stan. Stan. Oh, Stan. Stan, the guy outside. Oh, oh, got you. <laughs> so come on over. He's a man for 5150. Stan. Stan. So this is Stan. He's the one that's in charge of so, emails, Josh, talking to customers, meet you. anything 5150 related, he's the guy who you guys are going to talk to. It's going to be his office, the one we showed over there. For sure. Um, yeah, this is the shop, I mean, it's not, it's, it's almost there. We're cleaning up, washing the walls, washing the floor. Um, hopefully tomorrow we're going to start painting it. we got to paint the rooms outside, all the walls, pretty much everything. We still need to pressure wash and clean the floor. Um, but yeah, if you want to walk around, this is, a, this is going to be the new shop. So the magic's gonna happen? Yeah, so it's cool because the dyno's actually gonna be right here. So where that pole is to that wall, um, John's gonna get a dyno box. So pretty much it's gonna be all enclosed and that window's gonna be pointed straight to the dyno in the car so that way they can see the screens and their carving dyno. Um, lifts and storage and everything's gonna be around the side. Cool. So it's, it's getting there. It's still dirty as hell, but I mean, we're trying to, we're trying to clean. That was worse before? Um, yeah, I mean, we're trying to clean the walls, whatever's coming off is coming off. Sick of paint it. Yeah, so as, as long as there's no dirt or grease on it, I mean, we're, we'll paint over that. It'll stick to that, so. Hey, can um, we put the, put the unicorn emoji on it? Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> we'll put a unicorn right there. But yeah, we're just going to pressure wash the walls. Um, they're going to come and finish up whatever rooms they're building, because this wasn't there. So they built all these rooms. Yeah, these are new, right? Yeah, this is all, this is all newly built. Um, John wanted it, so. Uh, they're going to come tomorrow, finish up what they're doing, they're going to take all their stuff out of here. That way we can pressure wash the floors. Once the floors are done, uh, we'll start shooting the paint inside, outside, and, and then um, everything inside. Make sure it's nice and clean and white. Yeah. And the homie said unicorn contracting. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm tired. Sharing it. Um, so another guy named Candy is going to have part of the shop with a, 
with John. So we have the sink for the tax, you know, to wash our hands, and there's a bathroom for us, you know, sink and all that. Uh -huh. This is actually the second half of the, the other unit. So, so, oh. <laughs> So, so you got this the... is going to be for the, for the other guy. He's going to help work on cars and then he's going to do his own little thing. Yeah. So this is his, his office. Um, so practically from here, this way, the other tech's going to have it. Um, we'll practically have that whole side of the wall all around and then where the dyno goes. So, um, yeah. Pretty much it. And then, um, so this is the back side. So we have two entrances. We have the front entrance, then there's a back entrance right here. It's all gated. I mean, could Loki host a car meet, dog? But we can, yeah. There's actually there's room outside, room up in the front, and there's a lot of room back here. So um, hopefully, once once we get the shop done, once we get settled in, we get all the lifts up, we get everything running, dinos on. We'll we'll probably host a a little meet and greet or a grand opening for the shop. I know it's a while away, but you have like a like an estimated date. <laughs> Um, we're hoping to be in here within the next month. Yeah? Yeah. Hopefully within the next month. Have everything moved over, everything installed. I mean, the biggest thing's going to be the dyno and the dyno box, so... Um, <clears throat> and getting the anchors for it. Yeah, so that, that's, that's the company that's going to come and do it. I mean, the lifts, they're not that bad to set up. We, they're going to do all the wiring for it. Then, of course, we need to bring all the stuff from the shop, so... Uh -huh. All the shelves, the boxes. The engine builds, pretty much all the parts that we have spares. That's all got to come over. <laughs> Homie said X Files. The Homie said Young X Files. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the black man did it. You got it. <laughs> guys it's now day number two we are back at the shop it is another day i had like nine hours of work and then i came up out here to show you guys a little bit and talk a little bit about what's going on with the new shop as you guys know when jrp closed i partnered with 5150 racing and they've moved around a little bit they had a shop in found valley well if you guys been watching my videos for a long time they had a shop in santa Ana. then they moved to found valley then they moved to huntington beach and now we are here back in santa Ana. it's in between found valley and santa Ana. Um, this shop is going to be split between uh, john our buddy Sam and then that other guy Candy that Asus was talking about yesterday. I want to get you guys a quick little preview of what's going on. Obviously they're cleaning the walls as you guys saw in yesterday's part and today they're going to be painting. I don't know how much of them I'm going to be able to capture because I got to go get my girlfriend. She's off of work in like 30 minutes. I'm like an hour away. But myself, wanted to get more content for you guys. Wanted to mob out here about 45 minute drive one way. Get clips of hopefully they're painting i don't know if i'm gonna be able to get it and then also just explain a little bit of what's going on sam's gonna be renting out two lifts i believe candy's renting out one or two lifts and he has an office that Sue showed you guys yesterday and then obviously john's gonna have his dyno and this is mainly john's shop uh this isn't gonna be labeled as 5150 racing anymore i don't think 5150 is a business anymore in terms of a shop it's gonna be more of a brand like a clothing brand stickers club like more of like just a car lifestyle brand more than it is an actual shop i don't know the actual name of the shop yet john is told me but obviously we're here and i want to show you guys a little more now that's during the day oh, got my dirty evo sun setting super nice weather today in comparison to yesterday it was super hot so the homie contractor is here there he is what's happening what have, what have we been up to how long have you been here today i've been here since 10 i think 10 a.m no 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 i got here man. i knew I knew. Been up since night. The lighting is a little bit better. We're not having to use the phone lights. Just want to show you guys the room one more time. These rooms are actually pretty big. Like, honest to God, guys, someone could honestly live in this shop if they really wanted to. Because there's obviously bathrooms. Um, there's more than enough space, honestly, if someone really wanted to make this work, which is pretty wild. This is more stuff that Jesus Contracting got rid of. They're obviously cleaning up everything, getting ready thing. Yeah, I can't even talk. Getting everything ready to paint. So that way the paint sticks and there's not a bunch of grease and dirt on the walls when they spray it down.
Now you're a little, get a little closer. Guns a little, get a little, get the gun a little closer to the wall. Give you guys some context. I did not want to do that. This guy literally kept bugging me to do that. So this is where the magic's gonna happen. Huh? This is where the magic's gonna happen. This is where the magic's gonna happen. You're gonna install the EFR kit here? Yes, sir. Everything's gonna get done here. Everything. Everything. Cams and all. Cam, everything. Turbo kit clutch. Motor's coming out here. Everything. <laughs> everything. Hey Richard, what'd you say? I said, what are you gonna take out the motor for a trap? And what'd you say? <laughs> John agreed with me the other day. Okay? <laughs> John said, hey, John said it's easier if we pull the motor out and everybody everybody was like, what? Like the world was gonna end. <laughs> well it is easy to pull the motor, but like right? you pull the motor out in an hour. Yeah. T case is right there, it comes off instead of you having to struggle up on the lift. That's true, Transmission, though. you just go. Put it to the side instead of going, oh Richard's gonna fall on you, Why? watch out! Oh fuck, Richard's dead now. <laughs> Alright, put the put the clutch on it. You know, like it's out. Turbo K, there's no struggling, there's there's so much room, you just unbolt it and the yeah. whole fucking thing comes out. Especially on a car like that, it's horrible taking the stock turbo the stock turbo off. Flip Why? Down. Because of all the clamps, extra brackets, everything that is there to hold the stock turbo in. Especially the fucking bolt in the back. With that, the that, bra stuff. that bracket that has a bolt going this way and a bolt going this way yeah. that you can't get to. And then the heat shields. Yes, all those it's shit. so bad. Alright guys, that's it. That's it for your shot preview. Back in the Evo. Like I said, gotta jam out and go get my girl. Sort of preview, but hope you guys like it. Give this video a thumbs up if you're excited to see what goes down in here. So you guys are wondering about the whole debate that Richard and Asus were talking about too. Asus was telling me when we do the EFR kit and the cams and the clutch, everything that we're going to do to my car, he said it's just easier to pull the motor out and it's really funny because any time he ever brings it up to anyone, everyone's like, what? Like, you're crazy. Like, why would you do that? And so I just want to film his reaction. I thought it was funny. Um, if you guys think it's crazy we're going to pull the motor out, let me know. Give me a comment. But uh, yeah, doing the clutch and the EFR kit, I mean, if you guys know Evo 10s, you know the manifold is literally right next to the firewall anyway. So <laughs> removing the stock turbo that Asus was describing, it's a nightmare with all the brackets. And um, installing the new kit just kind of makes sense to have all the room freed up. And if the transmission is coming out, you know, with the T-case. All right guys, it's now day number three. These video turnaround times are taking way too long, but obviously the first day I went with Zach. Um, honestly, I haven't seen Zach in months, like literally since the last time we were trying to tune Asus's car, which I can't even tell you what month that is. I'd have to go back and watch some of my old videos. Um, so we kind of got caught up, uh, like just catching up, talking, hanging out, and then we went to go eat uh, hibachi with John and everyone from 5150. Um, but. I hope you guys are really excited for the new shop. There's gonna be a lot of cool stuff, and obviously, like if you guys have been watching my channel for a long time, you guys know that this Evo 10 project, like I said, has been something I've wanted for almost five years now. And the fact that I already have a turbo kit for it, um, I got the car, I have cams and a bunch of other stuff for the car already, and I've only had it for a few months is pretty wild. Like I'm really, really excited, honestly, to put it together. And I've been around filming cars and doing car stuff for a long time, so it's really hard for me to get super amped up and excited about stuff and this is definitely one of the the most exciting things i would say ever and it and i hope that you guys watching if you guys are dealing with stuff you know whether it's employment covid uh maybe a family member got sick or anything like that i hope that this brings some light to your day and that you guys get excited for the build uh may it be an escape for you guys if you guys are going through some stuff um, but other than that, hope you guys are excited. If you guys have any questions with tuning, uh, 5150 is still tuning cars. I don't think I mentioned that earlier in the video. If you guys have any questions, uh, want to book a tune, uh, I'm going to post an email on screen. Uh, hit up John, tell him I refer to you. He'll definitely take good care of you. And his tunes are really, really amazing. You know, he's got GTIs out there making 600 horsepower to the tire, which is insane. Um, obviously, my car is going to make over like 650, 670 stock block. And for those that don't believe it, 
I'm going to be glad to document it for you and show you guys. Um, but other than that, stay on the lookout for more videos. I'm going to have a very, very in-depth comparison between the Evo 9 and the Evo 10 up next week at some point. So look out for that. I've been getting a lot of requests for that on Instagram. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace out. Take care of yourselves.